All right, right out of the gate. First off, I am not Steve Carell. All right, uh, there you go. Enjoy that. Get it over with. Let me do my job. Yeah, he really does. Oh my God, when he smiles, he looks so much like him. Shut up, you bunch of jerks. All right. I sound like him too. Oh my God, no way. All right. Can I, can I, can I do this now? Holy shit, he got watching people. Oh God. I know. Thank you, everybody. Good night. All right, that's it. That's my whole act. <laughs> Good to be here. I went out on a date with a girl recently. I talk for a living. I do stand-up and hosting and voiceovers. That's what I do for a living, right? I went out with this girl for the first time. She could talk. You know what I mean, sir? You've been out with a girl like... Right. And he, he, he went like this one. I'm just kidding. You can still fuck uh, I know it sounds like Steve Carell is saying that, isn't it? And it's like, oh my God. She can talk, right? I'm, dr I'm driving her home and we're thinking, I don't think I've said anything since I ordered my food. That was like an hour and a half ago, right? So she sees this look on my face. She goes, I'm sorry, I'm doing it again. I'm talking too much. I'm so sorry. I go, relax, okay? It's our first date. You're just a little bit nervous. I'm way out of your league. Calm down. I uh, didn't say that. I did not say that, but you know, you think I did. She says, quote, that's not it. Do you want to hear something really weird? <laughs> Do I ever on a first date? She, she says, ready to have your mind blown? She goes, I honestly believe that as long as I keep talking, I cannot die. <laughs> right, I said, actually, you could not be more wrong because if you don't shut the fuck up, I am going to drive this car into a wall and kill us both. Shut your suck box, lock it up, what's the matter with you? And you know what they say, sir, right? The crazier the girl, the better the sex, right? And man, do you agree with that? Like the crazy women, that's okay. And some of the crazy women are applauding that, which <laughs> proves my point. The guy's like, what table was that? <laughs> now, as they say, the cra I had to close. Sex with her was so good, Morgan Freeman narrated it, all right? That was... Mar March of the penis, all right? That's... She wanted to cuddle after sex. Are you, is this your girlfriend, sir? No, your wife? Just, just a person, just <laughs> friend. What, what's happening over here? Friend. Oh, so you tried, and it's like, nah, nothing's happening. <laughs> Girlfriend, how long? A year, a year and a half. Are you a cuddler, sir? After six? Oh, stop. Oh, it's a relationship. Don't be broken up next week. Relax. <laughs> oh my God, love is forever. What at the fuck ever? I got seven minutes. I got time to fuck around. Um, are, are you? Is he a cuddler after sex? Not at all. So are you, sir? You're a big, strong guy. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, right now, you're like, got her in a fucking choke hole. Like, mine! <laughs> Giving her a noogie. Yeah, get out of here. Run along, you little scamp. All right. <laughs> I like cuddling. I know I'm sarcastic, but it's nice. You got your head on my chest, your legs wrapped around me, you're kind of bonding, but there's going to come a time where um, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> and you need to get the fuck off of me. Get off of me. My ex-girlfriend used to get so pissed off, like, what, am I heavy? Like, no, honey, when you're not here, I'll put like a 150-pound barbell across my body, or I'll cuddle up with an anvil. Yes, you moose, get the fuck off me. What's the matter with you? It's unreasonable to ask me to sleep with another naked human right on me. Hot on my neck, and you've just had sex, and I'm all sweaty, and I can feel beads of sweat running into the small of my back. I can't wipe it off because this arm's dead. There's nothing. There's no blood flow. I'm fucking paralyzed. Am I too heavy? What's the matter with you? 